जयपुर अहमदाबाद दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत लखनऊ जंक्शन Well, I promised you that this big Sunday will have uh, a big game with a big finish, and well, it's been a great game, and it's been full of ups and downs. You thought one team was ahead, then the other, then the other, and in the end, well, the result when the last over started just turned out to be a foregone conclusion. But Chennai batting first, not getting a good power play, starting slow but finishing big, uh, and getting 206 on the board, and Mumbai on the back of a brilliant century by Rohit Sharma. But uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it It was a 61 ball century, but he pretty much had to carry the team just by himself. And at the end, it was just too little. Needed a lot of help. When you have 206 to get, you need uh, help from some others as well. Well, I have help here on Cricket Buzz Live from Simon Dool and Adam Gilchrist. I'm God of Kapoor, and I want to tell you that uh, Chennai has won the game by one. M S Dhoni. <laughs> <laughs> the last four balls. Yeah. You're referring to those last four balls. Yes, but twenty that he got in the last 20. four balls. Yeah. And uh, Chennai, of course, has won by twenty runs. So from now on, we'll call that a unit of measurement. That's it. So to win by one <laughs> MSD is to win by twenty. It's like okay. a score. It's a yeah. currency. Yeah. Like It's like four score, and four score. So there you go. Yeah. So there we. Like they won by twenty runs, uh, and it was a four. Uh, it's very difficult, actually. Now, if you look at this scorecard, Dooley. You're looking at Rohit Sharma. He's got his hundred, right? He's got a hundred. He's got it in sixty-one balls. That's a quick hundred, right? He's got a quick hundred. But when you look down that scorecard, am I being harsh in saying that he just hasn't got supported by anyone? Yeah, I think you're probably about eighty percent right. He probably would rather, you know, what's he scored at one sixty-six in a chase of over two hundred. You probably want to score at about one seventy-five to one eighty. Okay. Uh, to give you that two hundred score, so he just got he lost strike, and I think at that stage when he lost strike, we were talking in the green room, Gilly and I, about it, and he just what did he face seven six or seven balls of twenty. Yeah, maybe more twenty four balls. Twenty four balls. So I think six package. of twenty four. Yeah, yeah. So he just got yeah. bogged down a bit, and when you when you're going and you lose the strike and you lose that rhythm, it, it can be tough. Mm. And wickets fall at the other end. I think that's kind of where we saw the game just fall away a little bit and go back towards Chennai. Yeah, uh, look, I, I think I assess that he's done his job. Mm. Yeah, well and truly, I, I probably lean more with your assessment there that others around him haven't done enough. Um, Ishan Kishan was looking great. And then uh, knocks that first ball to the man that you were crying out for, Padarana. <laughs> but we'll get to him, I'm sure. But uh, um, no, obviously, uh, I was a bit disappointed. I know it was a, a fantastic catch, but for Sky to come in and really you open the face, almost that ball couldn't have really gone to many other areas than yeah. a catchable height down. It was just a question if it was going to go over deep third man's head or not. And in the end, it didn't. It was a terrific catch, mm. uh, but. I don't know. Second ball, just to do that, it just opens it up. Two in and over. Mm. So that's the first moment that the momentum got halted. Then a terrific run partnership uh, with Tilak, but yeah. And then the skipper came in. It wasn't his day, was it? It just yeah. wasn't his day. So he's got a lot to ponder. But so I think, um, yeah, Rowett's, Rowett's done his job. Uh, if you know, if it's two twenty, they're chasing. You definitely need yeah. to be up around one eighty and mm. maybe higher. But Yeah, I think he's uh, mission accomplished for him, but that won't ease his uh, disappointment of uh, missing out on the result. You would have at that phase when you see Rohit is going well. Now, what happens is that conventional wisdom and old school thinking says, "All right, the guy who's solid, you let him be." And you know how we talk about great yes. cameos, yeah. right? So you trust Hardik Pandya and Tim David to do that yeah. 25 of 10 we speak about. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's what they're thinking at that time. Yeah, they're not giving him the strike, but. When do you say, all right, we're not getting it hit? He is looking in good form. Let's reverse. Yeah, and if they're not giving him the strike, they've got to be hitting. They've got to be trying to score. Yeah. And I think that was part of the issue. I mean, Tim David, two hundred and sixty strike rate, thirteen off five. It was the game was getting away from them at that stage. Mm. Yeah. Tried to go three sixes in a row, didn't quite get the third one. Hardik's two off six at that stage of the game kind of feels like two off ten yeah. because it just it, it, the guy at the other end's starting to panic and he's not seeing any deliveries. Mm. And you're struggling to hit it off the block, 
and it just it, it sort of just chewed up a, a little over there. I think it was was it Shuttle Tuck or the yeah. bowled an 15th, over for the fifteenth over for two singles. Two? Yeah. yeah, two that singles only. Excellent. That's right. That was a shuttle over, right? Was yeah. it fifteenth? Yes. Yeah. I mean, so I mean, we'll get to the bowling because there was some exceptional bowling, and yeah. what I've been banging on about for the last week on the show, bowling to your field. Yeah. You know, taking it wide. Forgive the odd. We saw a wide from um, the Fizz, yeah. and MS Stone is clapping. Yeah. Because that's the plan. Yeah. Don't. They did not shy away from the plan. Mm. Uh, you can accept a wide delivery, but don't go away from it. And they didn't. They used the big side of the ground. They took pace off, went wide, and um, Patirana just angled them in at the stumps and, and used the big side as well. So yeah, we'll get to the we'll get to the yeah. Chennai bowlers for sure because yeah. at one point with uh, ninety nine to get in the last nine. Right, with eight wickets in hand, you're definitely backing the chasing team. That too, the chasing team being Mumbai mm-hmm. and Advankari. So put everything that into context and you're obviously backing them. Solid advantage at that point in time. So the Chennai bowlers did well to pull it back. But let's just stay on a moment. Uh, let's stay for a moment on Rohit Sharma. There's, he's copped a lot of flack mm-hmm. for getting the 40s and not, you know, staying longer and wanting to stay longer. Today, he's got the strike rate and he's got the runs as well and he's batted uh, till the end. So, while it's ended in defeat for them, uh, let's not, let, let it not colour the great no. knock that he's played. Absolutely not. He, he was brilliant. He was brilliant in the power play, got going, um, played some wonderful shots. And, and when he's timing the ball, he just looks so good. Second only 100 since 2012. Yeah, so, it's only yeah. his second 100 yeah. in IPL. 2012 at Eden Gardens yeah. was his only other 100. And uh, oh, I said in the com box, didn't I? he's got to kick on. We've seen those great thirties, forties, fifties. Yeah, but he couldn't because he, he had no strike. No, he, he couldn't. And <laughs> well, uh, just looking back at it, sixty-three balls. So he's only faced three more than half. Yeah, and he's got half the runs and, and yeah, a little yeah. bit. So, yeah, fair call. The chase was still on when Tim David came in. Mm. I think, and we saw him hit a couple of sixes. And you thought, okay, here we go. And the one he got out on initially off the bat, you think, oh, he's so this is the chance to have that cameo around the foundation of Rowett. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah, I think just uh, uh, not quite enough from those around him with yeah. the final assessment. And yes, of course, we said that it's a long lineup of heavy hitters, but when Patirana was bowling to Romario Shepard and just the way Patirana bowls, I don't know, before he even got to the top of his run up, I, I remember saying, this is a little out of syllabus for Romario <laughs> Shepard, right? Yeah. This kind of bowling, because it's, it's way too clever. Those little skiddy Yorkers, that's a little out. He likes Nokia 145, bring it to him. He can get under it and hit it out. This was going to be a little difficult for him at that stage. Well, well when you're facing bowling like that, um, Malinga, you know, when Shoah Bakhtar used to be back end of a, a white ball game, homing in on the stumps, it's all about short back lift. If you yeah. know they're going to be attacking the base of middle stump, you just, at, at good pace too, good, and, good enough yeah. pace, it's got to be a short back lift because you can't afford, and the big fella, big <laughs> Super Mario, he, he's up there like the Axeman, isn't he, just to bring it down. Yeah. So it was, you're right, it's, uh, would you say above his pay grade or? <laughs> Out of syllabus, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Out of yeah. syllabus for him. Uh, but yes, so let's talk about the Chennai bowlers because, geez, they were good today. Mm. Now remember for Chennai, when you look at their bowling analysis, this is, you know, we always talk about the fact that just the five bowlers is a little old school in today's T20 template, right? Yet Chennai have gone with that. It's also away from their template. They've always gone in with options. Mm. So to see them only with five bowlers is a bit surprising. But geez, they've used them well today, right? Brilliantly. And and you might look right down the bottom of the screen and think, you know, that, that's superb. But I look at Deshpande and Shadul Thakur, who bowled some of the tough overs. Yeah. When, when they were needing sixes and fours and boundaries and they took pace off into the surface, knuckle balls, yeah. It was just some brilliant bowling and, and bowling to a plan and bowling to a field. They gave them nothing on pace to hit out of the park. Yeah. And even with a wet ball to be able to control it with the knuckleball, all of those things. You know, Patirana's figures were absolutely superb and he's a gun and they welcomed him back. I mean, they, they probably needed him back for tonight's game. But, but Deshpande and Shadul Tuck were the unsung heroes of that bowling unit along with Jadu. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, if we can have a look at that graphic again of those bowling figures, because I think it's telling to remember that Deshpande and I think I'm correcting saying Shadul Thakur both bowled two overs each 
yeah. in the power Sh- play. Uh, yeah, shuttle ball yeah. too, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and because yeah. we were a bit surprised by that, why Paterana didn't get at least one in that. Yeah. It was a strong power play by the Mumbai Indians. Yep. So if you look at their numbers there, mm. you, you know that their second two, each of their second two, Deshpande and Takur, yeah. they've done an outstanding job. And, so, f- and that's what then has supported the first couple of overs yeah. from Paterana, which uh, went for, I think he had three for 11, didn't he, after two. Yeah. So, yeah, that, I mean, it's just a complete... Well balanced bowling outfit. So I Shardul, thought, sorry, just add to that. Shardul bowled his fifth, the fifteenth over. Shardul's bowled for two runs. Yeah, yeah. And he's bowling that to Hardik and Rohit. Mm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Again, all numbers in context, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, the sixteenth over, Tushar Deshpande, bowling to Rohit, Tim David, and Hardik Pandya, three runs. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I mean, there you go. You so those two, those overs two overs killed the game. Five yeah, runs yeah, and they've the just completely turned the game around. Yeah. And they've got the one wicket, which is of Hardik Pandya. And just looking at those dot balls, forty-three. Yeah. 43 dot balls are counted up on that graphic between the five bowlers. But that's the thing, Dooley, right? I think we we were just discussing that as well in the green room, that after the 15th over, they just kill the pace. It's like there's been no pace on that ball. Everything into the surface or pace off or knuckleball. That's so clever. It was high quality bowling and, and, you know, hundreds, all that sort of stuff. But bowlers win your tournaments. True. Mm. You know. Yep. A, a crack bowling attack will win you a tournament. Hmm. And and that was a brilliant performance. So it really was. I mean, they had every right to chase that down, Mumbai, with the power they've got. We talk about what they've done in the last two games. It took an outstanding performance to, to stop that run chase, and it was it was just brilliant to watch. Yeah, because uh, Gilly tell us, as a batting unit, suddenly with, you know, you've got seven to go, and you're going, ah, 11 and over, 11 and a half, we back ourselves. And suddenly two overs go for just five and it's suddenly gone up to 13, 14 and it just changes in your mind and you've lost a wicket. It's just kind of can put the shakes. Oh, it certainly does. It's, uh, you know, sitting, the message it's sending. I, I, again, keep highlighting that 15th over. Mm. Yeah. There, there's, a, there's a few swings and misses. So the message that's sending back to the dugout of the batting team, it's like, oh, like first one. Because yeah. we know, we talk about it often. Every dot ball is a bar of gold yeah, at that yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah. And so there's one, you go, oh, the next ball he'll hit a boundary, we'll be back, oh, hang on, that's two in a row. And just it just builds and builds. And then it means that Tim David has to go, he goes pretty hard right from the start anyway, mm, yeah. but he has to go straight away. So yeah. within three balls he's trying to hit a six, within four, five balls he's yeah. knocking one up in the air. So you can, as good as they are these days, these late order finishes, it's not every game that you're going to be able to rely with certainty they're going to be able to get you out of jail. So, yeah, uh, yeah the message that was sending back in, so the mindset of the, as a batting team, every dot ball, you might see it one, if not one and a half runs added to the required run rate. True. And all of a sudden it's gone from, as you say, 12 to now it's 15 yeah. in the blink of an eye. Just yeah. trying to look at that partnership, uh, the Hardik rohit it was, it was only, what was it, 10 balls. Yeah, but four runs. Yeah, it just at that crucial time from the thirteenth, the end of the thirteenth over, through to fifteen point three. Yeah, they scored four runs. It's like, it's like off taking ten balls over off, well, off the yard. It, 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 it has. It's taken a whole over off it. Yeah, you know, it was just that. That was the crucial time of the game. I mean, Tim David did his job with with a couple of sixes. You know, thirteen off five. He didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Uh, and, he, and here's the thing, when in a 200 plus chase, these are the kind of spells of play that can change it. Mm. And now, today, for and we spoke about Chennai's bowling uh, before, and uh, now think about it. If you, get a, if you get a slightly turning wicket, you now immediately say, all right, Fizz can sit this one out and, pa, and, and Tikshana plays. Yeah. Now you get the leg yeah. spin, you've got Jadeja with the, you know, the finger spin. And, son, and Patirana with the ball, Tushar Deshpande and Shardul are doing yeah. well. This attack gets even better than on a turning surface, let's say, when they go back to Chepok. Yeah, if they play games at Chepok and get to bowl first, and, and it looks like it's sort of going to stay dry for, a, for the first hour and a half. Uh, beautiful with that, that attack. Two left arm options if they want. You know, they've still got Dubey, Mitchell and Ravindra mm. if they need something different. Yeah. I mean, how many teams would love just one of those guys to bowl one or two overs if they, if they had yeah. to? You know, there's nothing wrong with any of their bowling, to be honest. So it's a, it's a well-balanced. It just looks more dangerous with Patirana back. Yeah. It just looks, it's got that X factor. Yep. You know, you've got Bumrah. Well, we got a little ace up our sleeves. <laughs> yeah. we, got, we got a little Patirana coming here at you. So yeah. it, 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 that kind of evens it out a little bit because he's just such a, 
When he gets that Yorker right at the death and with the action, that little little bit of tail, um, it, it's just superb. They're both. I mean, Boomer and Patirana both are kind of like Yorker vending machines. Right? Put a coin and get a Yorker. Put a coin get a Yorker. Put a gold coin and get a Yorker. Uh, and they both did it so well today. Uh, we've got a quote from Hardik actually, uh, who's of course spoken after the game. Jeez, I, and I'm telling you today. You said he's got he's had a bad day with the ball. He's had a bad day with the bat with the ball as well. Taking that last over, despite you know getting some stick in his first, mm -hmm. uh, I think he didn't. I mean, let's look at the quote. We have that quote ready. Let's have a look at what he said after the game. He's saying Patirana was the difference. Uh, they were smart with their plans and their approach. Uh, they got the hang of it. There's a man behind the stumps who tells them what's working. That helps. Uh, it was holding up a bit and getting difficult. It was about batting well and keeping the intent. Okay, a lot of it is just words that captains have to say, and Gilly, you'll know that. Eh? It's, yeah. it's tough to talk after you lose a game, right? That's probably the toughest bit to do, that little chat with the commentators after you lose the game. <laughs> oh, it's a horrible interview ever. It's, it's even worse having to do the interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know yeah. they don't want to be talking to you, the yeah. captains. But that's interesting, that, that line about Dhoni. Yeah. That tells me that he's feeling maybe he's... A little bit of a lone wolf at the moment. Maybe it's all having a bit of an effect that maybe he isn't feeling, Hardik Pandya is not feeling like he's got support around him, whereas his observation is of the opposition is uh, he's not crediting the captain there. That's good insight. Really? Guy, quite. He's, yeah. he's saying, hang on, he's got support down the back there, the experience of this. But, yeah, no, that's, um, that tells me a bit mm. about the mindset of Hardik at the moment and the, uh, the uncertainty uh, yeah. And the hesitation, if you like, within the Mumbai Indians as a as an overall package. I I don't know. I mean, uh, that's a great insight, mm. right? That's a great insight. Yeah. Reading between reading between the lines, and this is the thing, right? Like we've seen captaincy transitions before, and and we knew that there'd be hiccups when this happens, right? We predicted it, and, and yeah. you didn't have to be very smart to predict <laughs> it, right? It's basically common sense. But I genuinely thought that in two or three games, four games, couple of wins, they had two resounding wins. You'd think mm. that it would settle down, but I, this is not looking like it's, I don't know, does it feel like that? Because if what Gilly is saying mm. is, is, is even 50% true, yeah. then uh, that's, that's not good for a team. That's not a team then. No, it's not. And it, it's, it's always been a team that's sort of, um, it, it's looked quite calm and settled. Yeah. You know, in, in the last few years, it's just looked pretty calm, pretty settled. Even in bad times, they've found a way to win some games. If they've had a bad season, they've generally put it behind them. You don't win five titles without being a very good team hmm. and having a great setup and a great environment. And when that changes, so many things change with it. Um, you know, the, the, the team talks are completely different. Uh, the new guy's probably trying to stamp his mark. He's probably trying to do things differently because he's been there before. He's, he, he knows what's happened in the past. Yeah. So he's probably trying to bring a different mindset to it. And if there's fractions, if there's some parts of the team that aren't really grasping onto what he wants them to do or aren't really grasping onto the, the setup that he wants to run, it can be very, very difficult. And yeah. you've still got the former, in both cases tonight, you've still got the former captain yeah. there. One may be a little disgruntled. The other one just, you know, just wants to help a young man out. Yeah, there so you go. That, that may be the slight bit of difference I've as seen well. even with Indian cricket, Dooley, just to add to that, we've seen captaincy transitions. You've seen captaincy yeah. transitions a lot before, mm. right? Dhoni was captaining when there were four former captains with him, right? Virat yeah. was captaining with Dhoni as yes. captain. Rohit is captain with Virat in the team, right? And it all seems to have just worked out okay. Why is this transition not working? I mean, you've been part of transitions before as well. What's the secret to make them work? I'm thinking, I'm thinking European football. I'm thinking, you know, we talk about El Galactico, the big game, and mm, what we, yeah. we know where the foundations of that come, or the origins of that matchup come. Think of those world class, highest profile sporting teams. Yeah. Your uh, Real Madrid's, uh, even, even, yeah, Barcelona, Man United in the EPL, yeah. um, the New York Yankees over there in the baseball, because of the success, that can then mean that you become a victim of that success. The expectation, both from within, from owners, mm. and then the outside noise, and particularly your fans. Yeah. So your fans get hunger and they, they have this level of expectation, and then when it's not met, they start to look for reasoning and for blame. I, I think it's, it's something like that. And, and, and why I talk about that English football, European football, I talk about 
pinching players or, or trades, yeah. trades that come out of the blue that no one knew about. Yeah. And fans go, hey, whoa, 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 hang on. We are invested in this. We are part of this big picture. Mm. And they can feel like they've been blindsided. You know, yeah. The way yeah. this came out of nowhere and uh, this transition from getting Hardik back and, yeah. and so on, mm. um, was Rowett happy or con considered uh, in uh, discussion about it? Who knows? But, um, yeah, I think that's probably, that's probably why the vitriol's coming. I think because that's a, they feel a little bit deceived. I yeah. think that's a great point because the problem then is not the transition. The problem is actually the transfer because all the other transitions we've seen have actually been a person from in the team. Now, mm. this transfer in itself is shocking because while there have been a lot of transfers, it's a young league, 16 years, but while a lot of transfers have happened in this league before, they've kind of been on the lower end of the spectrum of yeah. players that have been from the bench, not yeah. really been used. Mm. When you get a captain, this is the first time that's happened. It'll mm. probably be the first of many that will happen in the future, yeah. but the first guy through the wall is always gets his nose the bloodiest. Uh, yeah. yeah, and, and a such high-profile yeah. person, Hardik Pandya, and also, too, part of that trade saw Cameron Green, who didn't have the greatest IPL last year, no. but he certainly did a couple of things right and scored yeah. a, a hundred. I think yeah. he got a hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So there was. I think the crowd were investing in him. The supporters. Okay. Well, this is his shooting star of Australian cricket. Okay, he's one of us. Yeah. We'll see him nurtured under Rowett, and so there's a lot at play. So I think that's probably this feeling of deception and, and frustration of being out of the loop. That's why it's coming back towards them at the moment. It doesn't mean they're gone. Yeah. They know how to fight. Yeah. They, That's true. They've shown that. I think we're it's not good, writing them off. I think it's a good point about the fans because they were a little surprised when Hardik was not retained. Mm. Yep. Two yeah. years back. Oh, well, I think and we all were. He, everybody was. And yeah. now they're surprised that he's back. Yeah. Right? So yeah. they're, they're confused, I think, yeah. more than anything else. And it's not the transition. I think it's the transfer that someone from outside. Because you saw two champion teams play today. Five trophies each. Mm. Both have transitioned from the winning trophy winning captains mm. to newer captains. Yet one looks like it's pulling in the right direction. And the other, maybe not as much. And I, I guess the underlying thing is that it's just now is perceived to be the guy from outside, even though he's yeah. coming back home, yeah. but he's perceived to be the guy from outside who's taken their favourite's job. And I also think, you know, as much as you can put on a brave face and the bravado and all of these things, I think it's getting to him. Yeah. I think it's yeah. actually getting to him. And he, would be, he wouldn't be human if it wasn't. Mm. Because it doesn't matter how much you think that you will, you know, you'll overcome it, it will, it will always hurt you. Yeah. When, when people are, And they're still booing. They were still booing tonight. Lord. And That's not good. No, it's not good. Yeah, it's terrible. It's, I mean, you know, is that, a, is that a franchise that he had so much success with? Yeah, this is and his one, And won <laughs> games for them. Yeah. And in the end, he, you know, look, he wanted to be retained at the number one spot. Mm -hmm. Wasn't going to be retained at the number one spot, so asked to be released. Yeah. It was snapped up by another franchise. At finished the number second, one spot. Finished second and first at the number one spot. So this is, the, this is the game of professional sport we're in. Yeah. You know, it, you turn up to a baseball changing room in America. Coach comes up to you and says, mate, you've been traded. You're off to St. Louis tomorrow. Yeah, that's, yeah, that, you, that's the reality of professional sport. That's right. They don't even yeah. know. The coach just walks in and says, mate, we've traded you. We've got such and such and such. And such. You're, you're off to St. Louis tomorrow. Yeah. See you later. Pack your locker up and, and you're out. Mm. That's what professional sport is. Yeah. And, and cricket's only just, you know, this is still a relatively new, even though 16 years, mm. it's still kind of in its infancy of trading yeah. players. True. You know, going from this team to the next team. There is a certain amount of loyalty, and there always will be with some teams and some players and some franchises. Yeah. But don't blame a player for wanting to be paid what he thinks he's worth. Fair. You know? Absolutely. And you don't judge him by that. Judge him by his cricketing yeah, prowess. Yeah. And if that's not going so well, for me, I, I think he might be just starting to feel it a little bit more than he's showing on the outside. But, uh, yeah, geez, it wasn't his fault. That's it's nobody's fault how much money they go for in an auction. Correct. It's just whatever. What it, you go to the highest bidder. Yeah, I think you've, you've articulated exactly a little bit more with more clarity than what I, what I was trying to get to about it being like the European yeah, football leagues absolutely. or the baseball, but, and it's still in its infancy. I remember when the IPL first started, we said there might be a time where a player is contracted to a club yeah. and gets released for international cricket rather than yeah. what traditionally cricket has done. True. And we're, we're already there now. I yeah. mean, 
look at Tim David, mm. the type. He was a bit of a, a pioneer, really, of saying no to an Australian contract. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go over there and try my hand. So, yeah, it's evolving. We keep talking about this word of evolution. It's happening in real mm. time. Yeah. It's, it's pretty exciting. Mm. You can debate what's good or bad for the game, yeah. but whatever the case, it is a transitional time and we're watching it played out mm. and... Hardik Pandya is on the receiving end at the moment. And yeah. for a guy that so much has gone so right for, this is a challenging period for yeah. him. So yeah. it's now up to that franchise to rally around. Mark Boucher is going to be tested mm. yeah. how he controls it. Yeah. The owners have to really sit down and work out. Because, again, you've referenced it a few times, the fact that Chennai had a new captain this year. Yeah. But they didn't. They 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 tried once to, get a, to start with a new captain mm. that wasn't Emma Stoney didn't work halfway yeah. through. Yeah. But yeah. that was an internal player that they appointed. Yeah. Okay, get through that year, win the title. You come back <laughs> the next year and go, okay, we need another new captain. Yeah. We're not looking anywhere else. No. We're going to look internally. And let's yeah. do it so better. So that's their style. Year. That's their yeah. style. Yeah. Better, and I think they've done it better this year. And that, yeah. gone. Stephen it's, Fleming yeah. can take a lot of credit for mm. all that too. Yeah, and it's all that. That transition's gone really smoothly. It's almost like how you saw the the MS Dhoni to Virat Kohli transition yeah. go in, in Indian cricket. And, you know, that's how uh, Chennai seems to have done it. But just one last thing about the fans and how the fans get so invested. I was at the Emirates Stadium once about 15 years ago. They do these little tours. Yeah. And there was a tour guide there who has said that he's not missed a single home game since 1973. And I think this was like yeah. 2010. <laughs> he hadn't missed a home game for 30, for 40 years. And I said, hey, what about... Uh, and and uh, Thierry Henry had just left them and gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he left Arsenal. So I said, hey, you know, what about uh, Thierry Henry leaving you and going? And he said, who? <laughs> <laughs> Ruthless. Yeah. I was like, Brilliant. <laughs> I, I, I yeah. said it again because I thought he hadn't heard me. Yeah. And I said, Thierry, oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, to just the fans, I mean, everything that we say. And the fact is that he is a proper, proper cricketer. He's a gun cricketer. Oh, yeah. And uh, come on, I mean, I know you could have some frustration against the franchise. Don't pull the guy down for yeah. literally playing his trade and making a living Absolutely. and playing cricket because that's what he wants to do. All right, yes, we have digressed a lot from uh, the game uh, and gone here and there, but uh, that's what we do here at Cricket Buzz Live. We, we talk about stuff that you're thinking about and not just the numbers. We also talk about some cool moments that have uh, happened in the game. This is our carrier room air conditioner's coolest moment of the match. Uh, there were a few today. Uh, lads, where do you start? Oh, I, I'll go back to Super Super Mario, <laughs> just yeah. getting his poles ripped out of the ground. <laughs> uh, Patirana, out of syllabus. Patirana, yeah, <laughs> out of syllabus, out of, uh, you know, in the C grade. Yeah. It, just, it was just a brilliant delivery and yeah. uh, poles every. No, no better thing for a fast bowler yeah. to see just those stumps flying uh, from a, the perfect little in-ducking Yorker. I have to explain this actually to both Gilly and Dooley. This is a very popular thing with Indian exams. Like whenever you have a question that you can't answer, you always come out and tell your parents, oh no, that was out of syllabus. Like it was not, in the, it was <laughs> yeah, not what no, I was no, supposed no. to study. Right? No, 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 out no. of syllabus, I don't know this. I'm coming from, I'm a, my parents were teachers, so I get the word syllabus. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to go with uh, the catch to get Sky. That was uh, the fizz, oh, yeah. wasn't it? Down yeah, there. the fizz. Yeah, that was pretty special. Brilliant. Pretty yeah. clever. I mean, in this day and age, we see a lot of, they practice it so much down there uh, on yeah. the boundary and flicking it back in. But... He sort of lost complete control of his body at one point, but managed to just get it back in time. Yeah. Big moment, big play. Pretty yeah. cool. Can't do better than that. Those were two actually of the coolest moments uh, in this game. We have some of your tweets that have come in as well. Let's have uh, a look at them and see what you thought were the cool moments of uh, the game. This is from Saurabh Sharma. Uh, yesterday, Gaurav said it would be next to impossible to turn the Wankade into a sea of yellow. Mm -hmm. I think they almost did it. Almost, almost a lot of yellow. Yeah, almost, yeah. Saurabh. <laughs> Far from being a sea, but uh, it was a, a largish lake of <laughs> yellow because it's always going to be a sea of blue there. Uh, and my namesake, but uh, Yadav says, Rohit Sharma's knock in an all-important Classico, Night of the Wankade. That was a cool hundred for sure, and he should be happy and proud. And I know I, I can guarantee you he won't be, because uh, these kind of champions are never happy. He could get 200, but if they were six short, he would not be happy yeah. about it. So, yeah, but as fans, I guess, uh, there was some really good hitting over there. 666, uh, six, six, still the best finish mm. in town. Mahi's nonchalant. Uh, nice usage yeah. Uh, yeah. from uh, Sadinu Kavsika Fonseca. How do we forget that? 
20 of four balls is because we spoke about it so much. Yeah, anyway. true. <laughs> true. <laughs> we're calling a last over 20 an MSD now. That's what we're doing. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom is what he did. Uh, those, those are some very cool moments. Yeah, I think uh, I, I, a word on the fans, though. I think that the yellow did fairly well today. Did them. very yeah. well. They must have run out of shirts at the gate because yeah. uh, there was a lot of yellow infiltrating that stadium snuck tonight. Them in there, didn't yeah, they? snuck them in. Yeah. They might, put, might, they might have been smart and put the blue one over the top and then just taken it off <laughs> yeah, when, they just, when they got in. <laughs> I but, just, uh, it was very good. I just want to tell you that Rituraj Gaikwad has copied my lines at uh, the post-match conference. Okay. He has said uh, the three sixes from our young wicketkeeper. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. Uh, he says that definitely changed the game from us. And mm. you said this, Gilly. You said the momentum of that finish... You know, it's it's worth more than just the runs. Always, it's just the it's just the positivity you kind of take into the dugout when you're coming out ten minutes later to defend it. Yeah, and think of the flip side. Yeah, you're walking off the field having just conceded yeah. that. Hmm. You, you're doing. You can't help when you're in the outfield bowling first, at, at calculating a target that you're hoping yeah. over by over. Oh, yeah, I can bring that back a bit. So all through that innings, they were thinking, I can just bring that down. Okay, if we just get out of this last over. Yeah. You're thinking, oh, maybe 185, 192 yeah, would have been yeah. perfect, I reckon. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was my number I picked. But, yeah. but all of a sudden, it's all gone. So the positivity over there in the team with the, in yellow mm. and the opposite effect in the team in blue. And we would just think that, did the captain have any other options to go to? He ran out of options. I mean, he had one over from Akash Madwal. Right, you're thinking, okay, maybe not that much experience. Romario Shepard, I guess you're not, not trusting the bowler, so that's not a choice you go to. So it was pretty much between Madwal and him. Mm. As a captain, yeah. I like the I like yeah. the fact that he, he had a the ball. You know, that's good. Mm. But the thing is, why have they got into that situation is what I want to get into for a second. Shreyas Gopal, their spinner, yeah. has bowled only one over yeah. because Shivam Dube comes and his reputation does not allow them to bowl yeah. Shreyas Gopal. Yeah. So he's bowled only one over in the game. Yeah, and got a wicket. Yeah, and then he's just not come back because everybody is so... We saw that with Faf and uh, and uh, Mayang Dagar yep. in the game that they played. As soon as Shivam Dube came, Mayang Dagar, two overs for six. The very first game, jogging your memory back, but now yeah. the 22nd. And he doesn't, he doesn't come back again because you're just scared that Shivam Dube will end up doing this. But now, do you bowl a spinner to Dube and, and risk... Because what does it cost? It has cost 20-plus in the last over. What yeah, did, right. did Jadeja went for 18 and one over, didn't he? Ishan Kishan and Rohit. Took Rohit, they, they went after him. They went after him a little bit. 11th over. Yeah. yeah they, 18, ended up bowling four overs for 37 in a 200-odd run game. Yeah. Bowling to left-handers. Yeah. They're still decent Correct. result. You know, he's gone Correct. at nines. He's gone at 180, which is what they ended up scoring, 186. Mm. So they can bowl to them. He, he went wide yeah. to the left ear, but, but he got taken down by the right hand by Rohit as well. Yeah. What, you're not going to bowl into Rohit Sharma now? Yeah. You know. Uh, <laughs> see, that's, I wanted to, I wanted to see thing. this. Like, I wanted to, this is what they do, right? This is what, I, this is where we talk about strategy yeah. and that's what happens. Yeah. It's just been decided that no spinner to Dubey, no. which means that Nabi, who's bowled three overs, doesn't come back for a fourth and Shreyas Gopal has yeah. only bowled yeah. uh, the and one Nabi's over. smart enough to bowl to, to Shivam Dubey. Uh, it just. He would do it. Of course he would. What did I tell you? I told you. <laughs> Shiv of Dube there. Nabi and Gopal are not going to bowl eight exactly overs. Right. So they get themselves <laughs> in a situation because, again, the idiots are running the asylum. Oh, right? stop. Tell us how you really feel. The, the, bo the, boffins, the boffins are saying we're not allowed to bowl to them. Andrew Simons used to call them the buffoons. <laughs> buffoons. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that was our carrier room air conditioners. Coolest moment of the match. There were plenty of cool moments today. Uh, and, well, that's going to happen, right? Because this was, this was the game where it was going to happen. Let's look at the points table and see what, uh, what, where and how. Oh, Chennai looking good. Yeah, six games, four wins. So they are up there now uh, at eight. Kolkata had a good day earlier today. So they are up at eight from five. Uh, and Mumbai, well, they're down. They're languishing again. That's, that's the word, right? Because mm. now they are at par with Punjab uh, and Delhi. All these three teams have two wins from six. Now, Mumbai will look at the talent that's at the disposal of both those teams. Delhi's had a few injuries, mm. so don't have everyone available. Punjab said their captain missing, and they've also had, you know, they've always had ups and downs. And, and Mumbai has to look at it and say, our personnel, we've got a lot more X-factor personnel there. How are we stuck here? 
right? They'll be, it'll, it'll be fair for their fans to look at it and it'll be imperative for them and their think tank to look at that and say, yep. we are better than this. We must perform better than this. Yeah. I, I, whether it's this game or they wait one more, but at some point, particularly if there's another loss, yeah. a really hard, open conversation needs mm. to be had. The, the, the sit-around, they're never pleasant, but the sit-around in the circle and, okay, let's go. Yeah. Are we uh, on the same journey here mm. and where are the issues? And, and so whether they feel the need to do that at this point mm. or whether they feel this is a blip on, on the radar again after building momentum, yeah. who knows, but there's too much talent there to, yeah. to, to be sitting where they are. Yeah. Well, we, we thought they got it right two games ago, and it's, it proved that way for two games. So this, this, I think they've still got the right set-up. Mm. Uh, it's, it's a blip tonight. And you look at that points table and you think, we're thinking 14 minimum. Yeah. You know, 16 probably. Yeah. Well, they've got eight games left. They need six wins out of eight to yep. get to 14. So, do no, they do? To, they get do to, it? to get to 16. They're at four points right now. Four points. If they so, got six, so they're six, six wins, yeah, six 12, wins, so they get to 16. Still, they get to 16. Six out of they're eight. still far yeah. from out of it at the yeah. moment. Yeah, they? absolutely. Six games. Still yep. at, you know, haven't even hit the halfway point. Do they, do, do they learn from their uh, other fellow five-time champions and say, right, we need to make a change now before it's too late? Mm. Ooh, listen. And you know you the change I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you should have warned us before throwing that grenade. <sighs> Yeah, I've got a shrapnel wound from that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking yeah. you guys. They're not, they're not going back on that. They're not? No chance. So at, at, at least Gillies waited till like six games. Manoj Tiwari dropped that bomb after two. Did he? <laughs> yeah. On the Hindi show. <laughs> With Viru and me just looking at him going, what? <laughs> you, you said what? <laughs> Taking no prisoners tonight. No, uh, no it's a fair not. question. It's, yeah, a yeah, fair, yeah. it's a fair question. Uh, because we've seen it happen with Chennai, so I think you're alluding yeah. to that, right? Yeah. A captaincy change, you say this is not working for multiple reasons, mm -hmm. and you change it. Uh, I, do, I, I sincerely doubt it. I don't think they will either, and I, and I think but the other you, thing you, the too... Qu is, the question's a fair one. Yeah, and uh, Hardik's got to be getting better each game just from being out there, Yeah, because he hadn't been playing the amount of cricket, and he's you know there's a, a whole lot of things. So, um, no, but they, there's something not right there. Hmm. Only they know internally how bad that is and if they need to consider that as an option. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we can sit and speculate and that's all it is, outside speculation. Yep. And, and we're assessing what we see. Hmm. Something doesn't look right. And mainly going back to the point you just made, GK, is there's too much weaponry and talent in that change yep. room to be sitting where they are at the moment. Yeah. And I think, uh, I mean, even if they do, because we never know what happens, right? But even if they do... I really doubt whether they'll go back. I think as they have contenders in yeah. Surya and Bumrah both, yeah. I, I feel it'll go forward. I don't think it'll... Mm. I don't think they'll... Yeah, I, I can't see yeah. it going anywhere. I can't see it. Yeah, if at all. But, I'm saying, yeah. even but I, it, I know what you're saying. Is that, yeah, yeah I, I agree on that. But I, Yeah, it's a tough one though. Yeah. It's a tough one. Jeez, because... And, and that's the thing. Again, numbers in context. We're not saying it because of the numbers. It's because of what... Gilly decoded from that statement. It's just it's what you see. It's sometimes, you know, when, when people have played as much as they have, they can just see a little extra things that are intangibles and can't be perfectly articulated. And sometimes they just feel just a little off. And, uh, you know, sometimes there's just no one to blame. You know, it's just situation. So there's no finger pointing at any individuals uh, for sure. Uh, they're all gun players. All right, well, there's plenty of gun players tomorrow as well. And uh, we feel like we may see some changes there. We have to. And the change I mean is that uh, Bengaluru has to, just has to get those two points because it's anyway looking like kind of bye-bye birdie for them. One more loss, when you look at that points table again, one more loss and, I mean, that's... One more loss is printing your boarding pass, right? At halfway stage, you have just one win. Oh, that's just yeah. print your boarding pass and choose your seat because yeah. that's pretty much the tournament over. So you'd like to see that tomorrow. We saw one change happen in the last one. Again, we predicted that one. <laughs> Will Jack's coming in. Uh, yeah. Didn't predict, couldn't predict which of the three he would replace because he had to replace either... Uh, the captain or retention number two or the 16 crore <laughs> trade. Eventually, they went for the 16 crore trade. Probably, 
because he's the junior most, I yeah. guess, yeah. the newest member. Yeah. Wrong call at Vankade, a place where he had played, and you know that hit the deck would have probably worked out well. Uh, but what do they do tomorrow? We've been talking from the se first or second game that they need two foreign bowlers because their Indian bowling is struggling. Yeah. That if Sorry. It, sorry, carry on. So if they get the two foreign bowlers, if they get Loki in, they want the pace, they get Loki in. That means they only play two foreign batters. Now you're choosing two from four. All the best with that, Gilly. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I sense they might. Uh, also, too, adding to the equation, Glenn Maxwell took a really bad knock on the finger. Uh, dropped a really mm. hot chance at backward point yeah. the other night here at Wonketty. So... Uh, I'm not sure whether there's any news, whether that's damaged or not, but I suspect that they might give Max a spell and uh, and 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 get try to get Lockie in. Uh, I just I feel like maybe it went in his favour, just being that little bit more experienced in the last selection. Mm, so, yeah. and he's certainly, I guess, um, just the way he played that one uh, didn't look like he's watching the ball closely. Maybe you're just not focusing or not quite switched on. So, who knows? Uh, he. He's done this before, Max, he hasn't he? He goes through patches of, yeah. and had bad IPLs and he's had, you know, player of the tournament IPLs as yeah. well. So um, you've always got to take the good with the bad with a, a, such an exciting talent like Glenn Maxwell. It's always been an up roller coaster ride, but yeah. um, time is uh, they've got to make a, a hard call. Mm. It's really strange because Glenn Maxwell can be an F1 car cruising down the straight at 400 kilometres an hour. And on that day, like the previous, it looks like the engine's running and no one's behind the wheel, right? So mm. it's it's bizarre what the, the spectrum mm. that that operates in. Uh, I, a bit like I mentioned, I think, earlier with Marcus Stoinis, it can be a frustrating cricketer to watch because you know the talent. You know that he just oozes yeah. talent. And you see him play some extraordinary innings. Mm. Uh, but it's just sometimes I don't think he gives himself an op enough opportunity, yeah. as in has a look for four or five balls. Yeah, because he's always going to up his strike rate. If he stays for twenty balls, yeah. his strike rate's going to improve immensely. It'll be two hundred for sure. But I just wonder sometimes whether he gives himself a little bit of time, enough time to to just assess the situation, mm. ease himself into his innings. Because there's no doubt when he gets going, he's so difficult to stop oh, yeah. and so difficult to bowl to, and there's no boundary in the world big enough. Yeah. And I, I guess that's just some of the frustration at times when you, you watch Maxwell because you know the talent, yeah. you know how good a player he is, and, and you love watching him. He's box office. He, he really is. But, um, you know, when you're going through a bad trot and you sort of swing and miss at a, a couple and then all of a sudden you get bold or you sky one or, and things just aren't going your way, mm. you maybe just try a little bit too hard. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and it's just not coming off. So I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's dropped. Yeah, mm. left out. What a terminology you want. But they'll say what, that. Uh, they'll say he's he's not hundred percent. Right? No, no, no. That, well, maybe or maybe not. But SRH will breathe a slight sigh of relief yeah. if his name's not on the team sheet, even in the little yeah. trough that he's in. Good point. Yeah. As an opponent, it's a bit like the Warner factor, or a bit like yeah. you know, so many players you could name. You go, mm. man, he's not on the team. Well, sheet. I mean, his uh, his his captain is. Is captaining Hyderabad like Pat Cummins is, <laughs> yeah, is captaining yeah, Hyderabad? Yeah, yeah. Pat Cummins will directly and and he probably tell you that 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 one standing on one leg two hundred scored down the road at Bunker <laughs> yeah. is what kept Australia in the World Cup. Yeah, it's exactly. That, uh, Afghanistan could have pretty much knocked them out, mm, right? Yeah. So he's kept them in the World Cup and then which which they've gone on to win, which apparently happened on a date that I don't remember. But anyway. <laughs> uh, He's not there. The good thing, of course, yeah. is that Faf got runs in the previous yeah. game, right? Yeah. So Faf got runs. Mm. I you wonder. I wonder if they could, if they might make two changes. If if they do that, if that's the case, and they bring Lockie Ferguson, I wonder whether they want to bolster their batting a touch, and leave Reese Topley out and bring Tom Curran in, just okay. to give a bowling option who bats. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. As well, because it, it does it, it makes that batting order look a little thinner. Okay, if, with no Green and no Maxwell, yeah, it right. just looks a little thinner through the middle. So I wonder whether I mean Topley hasn't been bad. I'm not saying he's been yeah. bad. I think he's been decent for them. But I wonder whether they need a little bit of cover in the batting side of the all. My round only the question, category. sorry, my only question to that is that their batting down the middle in the end has not been a problem. No. So 
so that's why they've got Lomra or NDK to do DK, that job. Yeah. So do they want Tom Curran over there, or do they just want to say we'll play Will Jackson, Faf? Yeah, they've got the Indian batting. Let's just push everybody up, and everybody mm. gets a chance. And sort of Chauhan plays as well, and Lomra starts, and maybe get Anuj Rawat back in, and get our two bowlers and with Akash Deep and Siraj, who then yeah. have to do more. And get from they've, there. Got, they've got. It's just that the eleven's not coming together mm. on form, mm. which is the frustrating thing with Bangalore. Every time <laughs> you feel like great squad and confused 11 or maybe not the right combination which is optimizing their talent anyway we start talking about rcb and we can go on so we'll do that <laughs> we'll do that cuz yeah i mean a team that's one you know one in in six yeah right one in six with that kind of talent on display yes it can be fairly confusing and frustrating for the fans but on the other side this hyderabad team well this hyderabad team is looking good uh, they've got a captain <laughs> they plucked a captain out of thin air themselves uh, but it's uh, it's working out for them well there have been some impressive uh, impressive uh, performances there which we didn't see coming i think here uh, nitish kumar reddy didn't see that coming a lot of people didn't and abhishek sharma has been in really good form so for them that has worked out do you see any changes happening duly i doubt it well i mean they had a, a bit of a shocker last time bringing tripathi in as their impact player i yeah. thought it was it was a mistake uh, if he doesn't open the batting when he plays, and he just doesn't play. Mm. Um, he's not a great starter against spin. He needs to face that brand new ball with a bit of pace on, otherwise he just he just struggles to get going and doesn't add any impact to them. So they didn't use their resources, which they still had a couple of resources left, Yeah, and they brought him in as an impact sub. So I, don't, I wouldn't expect him to be part of the set up tomorrow. Of course, the question is, what kind of surface are you seeing at uh, the Chinnaswamy tomorrow? That's where it's happening, right? The game's happening yeah. in uh, Bengaluru. So what kind of surface do you see? Do you see the Bangalore of old, or do you see this current <laughs> <laughs> pitch that they have? You know which one I like. Players to watch out for from each team. Gilly, let's go with you with uh, Bangalore first. Bangalore. Uh, Virat. Nice call. I like it. A young player on the rise is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he may, he's feeling pretty good about himself, yeah. I think, and he'll enjoy being back there. Yeah. I'm hoping, a couple of players, but uh, Lom Roar, I'm looking forward to actually getting a decent run and, and, and a good crack. And I, I just hope Will Jax is better for the run because he's a terrific player, real talent. Okay. Um, so I hope he's better for the run and just sort of, yeah. Great. Eases the nerves a little bit. Super. And for Hyderabad? Hyderabad, um, who are we thinking about there? Can't say Klaassen. Abhishek. Not allowed to say Klaassen. Abhishek has been, off the yeah. Uh, Abhishek, <laughs> Abhishek, good Abhishek's call. been brilliant. Good shout. So, um, yeah, we'll look for him to continue his form. Uh, for you, Gilly? Oh, I'm funnily enough going to go with an opening bat left-hander. Ooh, funny Ooh, that. Ooh, let me guess. Funny that. It's, so, in this case, it's the heart and the head. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> that you're going I'm with. looking forward to watching him go. Yeah. Excellent. Well, those are our choices uh, for tomorrow. Let's give you our joy factor question and answer. It seems like we asked it a very long time ago. Because <laughs> it was. It was, it was last awesome. week. Yeah. It was yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> last week. Let's look at the question. Bring it up. It's been another week since. <laughs> Identify the next name on this list. Virat Kohli, Mitch Marsh, Unmuk Chand, Aidan Markram. Under 19. World, World Cup, Cup winning, winning captains. captains. We figured it would be a youth situation. There it was Shimon Hetmeyer who featured Hetmeyer. in... Uh, well, didn't, didn't feature today. Yeah, it was no, yesterday. 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 So, so you notice what Joy is doing this time. He's going with yesterday's. Ah. Mm. But he yeah, went with today when you were there. Nicky yeah. P or... Yeah, I thought, I thought it was Nicholas Puran for some reason, but maybe it was a different setup. Yeah. We had the West Indies winning it. it was, yeah. No, that uh, was close enough. Yeah. Close enough. I mean, we barely ever get a sniff of the answer, so we're pretty close. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see uh, who got it right first. Our uh, first winner, let's bring that up. Rohit, oh, Crick Rohit's oh, back. He's back. He's, he's back. back. We missed you, Crick Rohit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, we said it on the show the other day and he tweeted to me. Uh, somebody yeah. tweeted to him saying, look, you're, you're famous. So thanks for coming back, Crick Rohit. Yeah, where you oh, been? Where have you been? Where have you been, man? What have you been doing? Yeah. It's a good... It's a good day. It's a good. It's a good evening for Rohit. Yeah. <laughs> so Rohit got a hundred. <laughs> one got the joy factor. So Rohit's a good name to have. Uh, we also had some score guessing, and congratulations to Simon Duell got a bullseye. Yeah, thank you. Sixty-three Absolutely. was his guess. Smack on in the park. That's your third bullseye. Third bullseye. bullseye yeah. Jeez, man. Read my fortune. Pick a lottery ticket for us. Three. Look at that. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Oh, you're up there. Twenty-five percent. Not bad. One in four. I'm exactly one in three. With 33.33, well. edged yeah. up above uh, Manoj Tiwari. 
Uh, Virinder Sehwag, of course, is the number one position, but he's WFH, win from home. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not playing and winning. He's on the Hindi show tomorrow, so hopefully he'll get two wrong and yeah. then slip below me. I, I, I've got uh, a week off now. I'm going back. For a week, you know, you so might be leading. I will be leading. By the time <laughs> I come back, <laughs> by the time I come back, I'll be, I'll have three bullseyes, <laughs> and I will be leading. You'll be, I will put pulled. money on it right now. You'll be pole position, man. Telling you, you'll be pole position. I will be leading. Maybe you should send something in each no, day. No, no, I'm not. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> no. Send one from no. W H E. Work for I'm me. I'm happy. Here. I'm happy. Twenty five percent will be leading that comp by the time I come back next uh, Sunday. It will be. It perhaps. It, I promise yeah. you. You'll get off the mark tomorrow. Yeah. I'll, I'll be leading, mate. You'll be, you'll be up and away, you think? <laughs> All right, good luck. That's my prediction. <laughs> Gilly's going to be leading tomorrow. We're going to see you tomorrow evening at uh, 7 p.m. So, yeah, Simon's off on a bit of a holiday, but Adam Gilchrist, Arsha Bogle and me will be here tomorrow on the English show on Craig Buzz Live. I'm Gaurav Kapoor saying uh, thank you to Dooley and Gilly. Thanks, boys. Cheers, good mate. It's been a long day, but a fun day. Yeah, yeah great day. Pretty quick. Some good food, some good cricket. Whew. Yeah, I yeah. loved it. Good chatting. That was nice. Some good bullseyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been a good day. Thank you so much for staying with us on Craig Buzz. We will see you tomorrow. Enjoy your Monday if that is at all scientifically possible. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hyderabad Express Railway Station Data Deep Mobile Kepaya Hill